I am going to show you how to install a motherboard in a desktop tower unit. So here is the motherboard we will install. And the first thing we have to do is position the risers in the back of the tower unit, which correspond with the holes in the motherboard and fix the risers to those seven positions. The risers are designed to raise the motherboard of the back of the tower unit to prevent electrical shorts and to allow air to move freely around, helping to keep the motherboard cool. The riser is threaded to allow the screw to hold the motherboard to the riser. So this is how it works. The riser is screwed to the back of the tower unit and the motherboard is screwed to the riser. Here's what the riser looks like, screwed to the motherboard. Here is a different type of riser. This one is designed to clip on to the motherboard and is screwed to the backplate. And here's what it looks like mounted to the tower unit. This is how it is clipped on to the motherboard. the part that screws to the back plate and here's the clip going through the hole in the motherboard Now, these risers have to correspond with holes in the motherboard. This gigabyte board has seven holes, so you have to line up the back of the tower unit holes with these seven holes in the motherboard. Only put in risers where there are holes in the motherboard. Do not put in any extra risers if there is no hole in the motherboard for that riser, because it will cause electrical short with pins on the back of the motherboard as shown. Now that we know the position of the risers, we can now fix the risers to the back of the tower unit. They just screw into place as shown. Now just check that the risers are in the correct positions and line up with the holes in the motherboard. The next thing we have to do is install the backplate that came with your motherboard. The idea of the backplate is to stabilize the rear panel connectors. If this is a new case, there will be a default backplate that you will have to remove. And there is another video in this series showing you how to remove it. Now let's install that backplate. You install it from the inside of the case and you just push it firmly into place. Just to show you how the backplate is keyed to the rear panel connectors. 
you have to make sure that all the rear panel connectors are correctly aligned with the back plate. Now we can install the motherboard. Grab the motherboard either by CPU fan or one of the rear panel connectors and hold the opposite side with your other hand and slide the motherboard into place. Now lining up the risers with the holes in the motherboard and you can fix the first screw into place. But leave it a little loose so that you have play to get the other screws into place. Once you have the first screw in position, you can let go the motherboard and you can fix the rest of the screws. Leave all screws loose until you have all screws in position. Then you can go back and tighten them up. And that's it, the motherboard is now installed. In the next video we will install the cables for the essential components that make up a computer.